the silver tree. There once was a silver tree in the midst of a great forest. The tree had the ability to grant one wish to anyone who discovered it. Many a brave warrior tried to find this tree, but none could reach it. For the tree had a magic in it that would only allow those with a pure heart to uncover its power. So it happened that there was a huntsman who was good and brave. And on this very day, he was hunting a wild beast who had ravaged a village. Just as he had locked eyes on the beast and readied his arrow, a glint caught his eye. His gaze was torn from the beast and he looked to see a silver tree sparkling in the afternoon light. Brave and good huntsman, what is your wish? The huntsman said, I have no wish but to make a world where there are no enemies. Ah, you have wished for something I cannot grant. For as long as there are souls who have a choice in the world, there will be evil. And as long as there is evil, there will be enemies. Then I have no other wish, the huntsman said with great sadness. But the tree said, there is one wish that I may be able to grant you. Should you wish it, I can make your arrow pierce not flesh, but the heart. And so, whomever you hunt will be shown, only for an instant, the way for them to be good. This will fix all things, said the huntsman. Unfortunately, this is not so, for even those who see good will sometimes choose evil, and then you must love them all the same. Well, this is what I wish, and the silver tree glowed brilliantly and then disappeared. The huntsman looked at his arrows that had been transformed to silver. Then the beast which he was hunting appeared before his very eyes. The huntsman drew his arrow and let it go. The arrow sailed through the forest and disappeared through the heart of the beast. The huntsman approached his prey with caution. The beast's eyes were opened and he saw the good that he could become. Thank you, said the beast. I never knew the good that was within me. We are no longer enemies, but friends. And the huntsman said, come, let us mend your wrongs. And so the huntsman and the beast lived the rest of their days in harmony and sought to love their enemies so that they might learn how to be good. Many came to be their friends. Some continued to be their enemies. But the huntsman never forgot the words of the silver tree that told him that enemy or friend, we must love all the same.